This video provides an introduction to geometric sequences. A geometric sequence is a sequence in which each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a fixed non-zero constant. The amount by which we multiply each time is called the common ratio of the sequence. The common ratio, which we call r, is found by dividing any term after the first term by the term that directly precedes it. A geometric sequence with a positive common ratio other than 1 is an exponential function whose domain is a set of positive integers. Here we have a couple geometric sequences. Let's write the first five terms of each sequence. They've given us our initial term, a sub 1 equal to 4. To get our second term, we're going to multiply that first term, the preceding term, by our common ratio of 3. a sub 2 is going to be 4 times 3, which is 12. To get our third term, we multiply the preceding term by our common ratio. 12 times 3 gives us 36. We'll multiply that by 3 to get our fourth term, 108. We'll multiply that by 3 to get our fifth term, 324. The next geometric sequence is given to us as a recursion formula. So we want to look and see, well, what number are we multiplying that previous term by? That's going to be our common ratio. And we can see that we are multiplying the previous term by negative 6. The first term in our sequence is given, a sub 1 is equal to negative 2. To get our second term, we multiply the preceding term by our common ratio of negative 6. Our second term is 12. We'll multiply that by 6 to get negative 6. To get our third term, negative 72. We'll multiply that by negative 6 to get our fourth term, positive 432. And we'll multiply that by negative 6 to get our fifth term, negative 2,592. Like arithmetic sequences, there is a formula for the general term, the n term, of a geometric sequence. The nth term of a geometric sequence with first term a sub 1 and common ratio r is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1 power. With geometric sequences, we are multiplying the common ratio over and over and over again, multiplying terms by that common ratio to get the next term in the sequence. Well, exponents are shorthand for repeated multiplication. That's why we end up with an exponent in this formula. Similar to arithmetic sequences, the exponent is n minus 1, not n, because the first term isn't multiplied by that common ratio. Let's find the fifth term of the sequence when the first term is 5 and the common ratio is 3. All we need to do is plug into our formula. a sub 5 is going to be equal to our initial term 5 times our common ratio 3 raised to the n minus 1 power. So that's going to be 5 times 3 to the fourth the fifth term of this sequence is 405. This time we want to find the 30th term of the sequence when the first term is 8,000 and our common ratio is negative 1 half. a sub 30 is equal to 8,000 times negative 1 half to the 30 minus 1 power. It's going to be 8,000 times negative 1 half to the 29th power. Now you got to be careful if you plug this into your calculator without any kind of manipulation, you're going to get an awful decimal, negative 0.000014. 
four nine zero one. But we know we like exact answers, so I would encourage you to keep it in the fraction form. We're multiplying eight thousand times negative one half to the twenty ninth power. That's going to give us eight thousand divided by negative five hundred thirty six million eight hundred seventy thousand nine hundred twelve. This fraction can be simplified by sixty four. We end up with the 30th term of this sequence being negative 125 over 8,388,608. They're not always nice numbers. Next, we want to write a formula for the nth term of each sequence, not using a recursion formula. We want to use that general term of a geometric sequence formula that we were just using. We need the initial term and the common ratio to write that formula. Our initial term is given for us. a sub 1 is equal to 3, but we need our common ratio. To get that, because sometimes it's not super obvious just looking at it, you want to take the second term and divide it by the first term. Or you could take the third term and divide it by the second term. We'll get the same number every time. We get our common ratio to be 5. Now we can write our formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to the n minus 1 power. We get a sub n to be 3 times 5 to the n minus 1 power. In our next sequence, we get a sub 1 to be equal to 5. Our common ratio this time is negative 1 fifth. Therefore, a sub n is going to be equal to 5 times negative 1 fifth raised to the n minus 1 power.